Hi there Scorpio, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings, so if you're interested please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future, still going to be a love reading, okay? So I'm going to be pulling out angel cards at the end as well for added advice. Can I get the past energy for Scorpio? I had the worst allergic reaction. And I'm so glad <laughs> that I finally look normal. But my eyes were swollen. Okay, the Three of Wands for the past energy. Past energy for Scorpio. Okay, the world in reverse. Death in reverse. Wow, look at that. And the Hermit. Oh boy. Okay, let's get the, the present energy for um, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Wands. Okay. And the Knight of Wands. Interesting. Um, can I get the future energy for Scorpio? The Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. The Two of Swords in reverse. Interesting. And the Eight of Wands in reverse. And then the overall. It's the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is quite interesting. I feel like uh, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, I feel like there. this is talking about someone not offering their cup. But it could, it could also be talking about expressing one's feelings here as well. Especially when I look at the rest of the cards here. But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on. Okay? Now for the past energy, I see the Three of Wands with the world in reverse, death in reverse, and the Hermit. So I feel like uh, you could be waiting. This could be talking about some sort of um, decision that has been made. Okay, but it's regarding a connection that is not quite over with death in reverse and the world in reverse. Okay, um, this is something very meaningful. Okay, so this could be even someone going within possibly healing, doing some introspective thinking here, okay, with the Hermit card. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but I feel like this, someone has gone within. So there could be a delay or there could be some sort of waiting here with the Three of Wands. So now when I look at the present energy, I see the Six of Wands with a Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands. So I do see forward momentum. On your side with the Six of Wands, this is talking about like victory, success. And I do see someone heading towards you feeling quite passionately, okay? So this could be how they're feeling, but it's like the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person may not be even expressing this to you. That's why I'm looking at the Knight of Cups in reverse. So again, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel like someone's not a detaching emotionally. Someone wants to be open though. But for some reason, uh, they may not be communicating this with the Eight of Wands showing up in reverse. So let's clarify, okay? Let's clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. It's like someone has made a choice, but there's waiting involved, okay? So this person could have gone within. This could even be you. Okay, so let's clarify the Knight of Cups. And, okay, wow, look at that. That just wanted to come out. The Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone really thinking about their feelings here. Okay, the Knight of Swords. Someone does want to rush in though and communicate their feelings. But it's like the Queen of Swords showing up in reverse. Um, this is interesting. So someone's really thinking about you, ref you know, reflecting uh, on this connection. This is talking about contemplation. They're thinking about their feelings here. They want to rush in, 
But with the Queen of Swords in reverse, uh, there's something... So, I feel like this person's not really acting on what it is that they desire here. Or this person knows how they feel, but there's something... Um, they could be telling themselves otherwise, or it just seems... Because the Queen of Swords in reverse could be talking about manipulation, but it could be talking about manipulation of one's feelings here. So this is this could be not for all of you, but it could be for some of you here. Or this person could is not speaking the truth when it comes to the way they genuinely feel. Okay? Um, so let's clarify the Three of Wands. For the past energy. There you go, the Three of Cups and the Three of Wands. So three could be a significant number. Um, yeah, the Four of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles here. So someone does want a success or victory in this connection, possibly a reconciliation. Um, they do want balance in this connection, but yet they're keeping their feelings to themselves here with the Four of Pentacles. Okay? They're not really expressing how they feel here towards you. So there could be stubbornness. They could be trying to, maybe they want to balance their emotions here as well. So if they're keeping their feelings to themselves, they want to remain balanced, okay? They could be weighing their options as well. But let's clarify the world card in reverse. There he is, your Knight of Wands again and the Seven of Cups. So this person does want to rush in passionately. Um, this is like, they do, you make this person feel good with the Seven of Cups and the King of Wands. Wow, look at that. This person is very fixated on you, okay? Uh, clearly seems like something's unfinished. There's passion here. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of desire, but with the Seven of Cups, yeah, it's like there's, there's something positive in this connection, okay? Um, So they see you in a very positive light, okay? So I don't see anything negative here. Even if the Queen of Swords is showing up in reverse here. There, there you go, the Hermit in reverse. Um, to clarify the Hermit. So I really do feel like this person... One second. Yeah, the Fool. They do want to embark on this brand new beginning. So it's like this connection means a lot to this person. Um, so it's like they do want to embark on this new beginning. They do want to take this leap of faith. They do want to take this risk here. So there you go. They do want balance with the Six of Pentacles. So this is talking about an equal give and take in energy. Okay? But right now I don't feel like they're telling you. They're kind of watch. This is more of a watchful energy with the King of Wands. Okay? Even though their desire is to kind of rush in. So let's clarify the Six of Wands. Boy, the Five of Swords, though. There could be conflict here. So this is now the present energy. Page of Swords. Oh, boy. So it's like there, there could be some self-sabotaging uh, elements here. But I feel like you're still remaining strong even through this conflict. You're moving forward, okay? Um, someone does want to communicate, but they're sabot... So it's like they want to say something, but they could be... Like I said, the Queen of Swords is showing up in reverse. They could be talking themselves out of it. This is really talking about sabotage. It's like there is a potential of reconciliation or rebuilding this connection. But this Five of Swords energy pops up and then it's a Page of Pentacles in reverse, right? So this is talking about someone not really expressing how they feel. King of Cups in reverse. And that's what they want though. They don't want to wear this mask, right? <coughs> so they are feeling restless. When it comes to their emotions, the tower in reverse. So they do want to rebuild this connection, possibly a reconciliation here. But they're not acting on it. So th if they do want to communicate, um, this is really talking about sabotage or stopping themselves from doing so. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, I see earth here. 
I see Virgo. I see Aquarius with the Fool card. Leo with Strength. Okay. Lots of fire. I see heavy fire. You could be dealing with another water sign. Or even air. Oh, it could be anybody, really. You could have these placements in your chart as well, okay? Um, Knight of Wands. There you go, the Seven of Wands here. So there is resistance, even though there's a lot of passion. So someone's resisting. They're confused with Judgment in Reverse, like what it is that they have to do. It's hard for them to um, make a decision here for whatever reason. There you go, the Page of Wands. So they're not expressing it how it is that they genuinely feel. So there's a lot of desire here, a lot of passion, okay? So it's the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands. There's emotions as well, okay? So this person's not emotionally detaching. Okay, there's love here, but it's like they don't want to wear this mask. They don't want to hide how they feel. So let's clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse. So I don't see someone walking away or emotionally detaching here, right? But this is the King of Swords showed up here. So this person could be trying to be logical, practical. So I do see a match, okay? The Emperor in reverse. And the Moon in reverse, okay? So this person is not emotionally detaching. This person could be trying to be logical, practical. I feel like they could be like someone that likes to remain in control over their emotions here, but I feel like it's hard with the Emperor card in reverse and the Moon in reverse, okay? Like, I feel like this person's not able to emotionally detach here. Clearly thrown off. I feel like they're trying to remain in control, but it, it's not working. So this person does want to, I feel like they do want to express how they feel here though. Because I do see the Two of Swords in reverse, the Hangman in reverse, like they don't want to be stagnant. But yeah, they're not communicating this. And the Five of Pentacles. Something about getting over one's fears here of being left out in the cold. So someone could be fearful of being left out in the cold. And maybe that's why they're trying to remain in control of their emotions, even though it's hard. It's, but it's like they do want to speak up here. Um, so the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is talking about there not being any sort of communication though. I feel like someone has to get over their fears here or just speak their truth. There you go. Like, look what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of passion here with the Ace of Wands. There's a passionate new beginning. But someone's like really feeling possibly drained by their desires here okay um there could be putting up walls here resistance okay so i see the seven of wands and the nine of wands um and there you go the queen of pentacles in reverse so this person's not really making an offer here um so i feel like this person really needs to possibly uh, so if they're thrown off here okay not being able to express how they feel, I feel like they need to take the time to really nurture themselves there with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So this is them not really making an offer towards you, but this could be also them having to really take care of themselves here, um, especially if they're feeling so thrown off. So maybe this person needs time to take care of themselves as well. Like there's a lot of desire here, a lot of passion, right? There's a desire to even express how they feel, but it's just like there there could be some fears involved, okay? So that's my reading for you, and let's pull out some angel cards for further advice. Right now, I feel like there is like a watchful energy here. It's just someone watching. Um, there is fixation, passion. There are, they do have love for you. They do want to express, right, how it is they feel. But look at that. It's the moon card. Um, let's get another card. It 
Okay, seven of air. Okay. So the moon, Archangel, Haniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Well, wasn't I just talking about fears? So this, th their fears could be holding them back, like the five of swords, sabotage, wanting to express how they feel, but then uh, talking themselves out of it. Okay. Um, this is quite interesting. Like they, they, something is like they, it seems like they, they do have intuition here because the hermit card is showing up as well. This is talking about insight into this connection. So the seven of airs, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. Well, so that could be the reason why there's a delay. There could be poor timing here, but there seems like there is more going on than what this person may be showing. Okay. So like I said, this could be even talking about self-deception. I don't feel like it's decept de actual deception here or genuine manipulation. Okay, so that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care now.